No, we still got his V card, and I got front row seats. Thank you, God. What are you doing? Baby, I just thought that um, since I love you, we should... Wait, you love me? Yeah, baby. Man, what's up, pal? What it do, man? It's your boy, Kendall Bro, and I, bro, today, we're all gonna be reacting to Timeless Tim caught my brother losing virginity. Y'all, if y'all do not know, y'all don't know, but I be watching a lot of stuff. I just need to start making videos about it because I just be chilling watching dude video, man. I've been fucking with him for about, I want to say about a year, you know, when I found him. I really don't know how long it been. Like, I think it's been about a year or two, but you got to go ahead and get into the video. Wait a minute. Is lamps still open? Now I knew something was up. I mean, it's midnight on the weekend. My parents are sleeping and my brother's missing. What could homie be doing? So I get to my brother's room, hid under his bed, and waited for him to return. Two things are very important to a teenager. First, getting your driver's license. See, nothing fits being able to get your first whip. All you need is good grades to be of age, and you're good. Second, is losing that V card. Ooh, see, that's the tricky one. First, you gotta have game. Excuse me, girl. Girl, do I look like your girlfriend? Got What's up, baby? Baby? Do I look like your baby mama? <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Nubian chocolate. Beautiful. Oh, you call it beautiful. Full gorgeous. Yes, gorgeous. We can drive a man insane. See, we live in a society that heavily promotes sexuality. If you're a man, having intercourse is generally considered a good thing. Something to be proud of. On the other hand, being a virgin past your mid-teens. Ooh, something to be mocked and ridiculed. Now, of course, th hey, that background shit saying Sim, and are you doing the, the Tom and the damn cat thing? Opposite is true for women. According to traditional rules, shorties are supposed to be pure until they get married. For her, intercourse is something shameful and dirty, and losing that big guard is cause for slut shaming. Now, I'm not one to judge. It's your life and your whole body. So, do as you please. And that, my God, is where your life and your body. So, do as you please. And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to the day I caught my bro losing his V-card. So it was a beautiful Saturday night. Now, as usual, my parents would get to bed early, somewhere around 9.30. Now, since this was the weekend, your bro would spend the whole night playing video games. Damn, I got to get my hands on the new GTA. Man, I wonder who in school can help me. Then suddenly, I hear a sound coming from the other room. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, shh. Someone's breaking in. Now, since your boy couldn't fight off a burglar, I decided to check the premises and then call my pops. So I look out the window. Okay, that's weird. I don't see anybody. Now, I know I heard someone breaking in. I must be tripping. Now, since your boy didn't see a thing, I got back to playing the game. Then, I heard a door creeping open. What the? Now, I know I just heard someone try to slowly open the door. Something's gotta be up. So, I gently opened my door, looked out the room, and didn't see a thing. Okay, that's weird. No one's here. Wait a minute. Is lamps door open? Now I knew something was up. I mean, it's midnight on the weekend, my parents are sleeping, and my brother's missing. What could homie be doing? So I get to my brother's room, hid under his bed, and waited for him to return. A few moments go by, and this man pulls up with a shorty. Hold up. Is my man? Nah, it's too good to be true. Lim, I don't know about this. Oh, girl, we good. My parents both sleep. You sure? Yeah, baby. Okay. Oh, damn. Man's about to lay pipe. Because I know he still got his V card. And I got front row seats. Thank you, God. What are you doing? Baby, I just thought that um, since I love you, we should. Wait, you love me? Yeah, baby. Really? Oh, I know this man didn't pull the love card. Oh, he's <laughs> shysty. Hold up. Before you put that anywhere, do you have the love glove? Damn. No love glove, no love buns. Well, we can use a saran wrap. What? Yeah, baby, it's all the same. I don't know about that. So my brother leaves the room, comes back with the wrap, and proceeds to become a man. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? <laughs> I thought I heard someone laughing. <laughs> Wait a minute. So my brother looks in the closet, does he find a thing, looks under the bed, and finally finds your boy. <laughs> Don't laugh at Tim, get out. 
Ooh, I love you, Kelsey. Get out. Kelsey, I love you too, girl. Damn, thought that was gonna work. Work for him? Man, I can't believe Kid's about to be on the man. Sure can't wait for my turn. Hold up. Let's see how long my man lasts. One minute goes by. My man's still holding it down. Okay, dog. Still doing his thing. What do you mean one minute? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They say when you do it for the first time, you don't last. I lasted for a good little minute. I think something wrong with me. Two minutes goes by. Still holding it down. Three whole minutes. I mean, I think something be wrong with me. We don't do no activities over here. And it goes down. Then I hear the door open. Oh, damn. Three minutes. My brother pulls up to your boy. Yo, Tim, you're not going to tell mom and dad about this, are you? So, my guy, I'm going to ask you one more Vegeta. time. What would you do? Stay your own bed, bro. Or let the man live. Well, that depends. What you mean? Sit now. You got to do anything I say for the next two months. What? Dad? Shh. Okay, fine. What do you want? First, you got to pick me up and drop me in my bed. What? Mom? Shh. Okay, fine. So my brother puts me on his back and takes me all the way to my room. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. Why such a rush, honey boy? Now, you gotta read me a bedtime story. What? Dad? Fine, fine, fine. It was a beautiful summer night. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, how old is you in this damn video? Wait, hold up. Read it like you're reading it to Kelsey. Put some feeling behind it. Ah, uh, This I don't read this to Kelsey. Said it was a beautiful summer night. So my brother continues to read me a bedtime story and your boy finally falls asleep. Onward, and it's the next day. And since it was my turn to do the chores, thanks to my bro, your boy was gonna be chilling for the next couple of months. Man, I hate this. So after a few days of doing my chores, my brother started getting frustrated. This sucks. I gotta find something on time so I can get out of this. So for the next few days, my brother started watching me like a hawk with each moment waiting for your boy to mess up. Now, this story was happening at the same time my fake report card story was happening. So if you haven't checked it out, it's one of my oldest stories. Trust me, it's worth a look. See, since your boy was switching his bad grace to straight age, unbeknownst to me, my brother was watching me in 4K. Got you, little fuck. So, you think you slick. What you mean? I know what you're doing. I saw your grades, and you trying to pull a fast one on mom and dad. No, I'm not. Mom, dad, stop it. Shh. Oh, how the tables have flipped. Fine. What do you want? How about we read your truths? Fine. Now, since your boy didn't have any options, I had to lay the beef to rest, and both my brother and I took our L's. Oh, don't you worry, kid. I'm going to be watching you. So, moral of the story, sometimes you have to give people a taste of their medicine because paybacks, oh, bitch. I thought he was gonna stay in there the whole time while he did it. Nigga, who was gonna say, I love you too, Kelsey. Damn, I thought this shit would go over me. Nigga, it don't work like that. Nigga, it don't work like that. <laughs> oh, shit. But if y'all enjoyed this video, man, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below what y'all wanna do. And if he see this video, what's up, Brody? And yeah, bro.